it's your ASMR friend just checking in on you. I hope you're doing well. As you can see, this is not a Cyberpunk 2077 video. So it's a little bit different today. But I think, like many people, I have different sides of my personality. And I picked up this game yesterday and for whatever reason, I wanted to make this video. And I tried to do that last night, but it's kind of a nightmare to record at my place. As I mentioned in my description of my last video, I'm in between an, a night owl and an early bird, and I live below them. So we're trying it today. Fingers crossed. So, but fear not, I will go back to Cyberpunk. I still have a few ideas for things I want to do in that city. So, patience for that. But today, I thought this could be a fun, relaxing video. And shout out and thank you to those of you who have encouraged me by telling me that you find my voice soothing that really means a lot to me so i wanted to make a talking video so here we are today <laughs> so we're gonna play this this game space scavenger it's a roguelite Set in space, you control a spaceship, and I think that's really all you need to know. So, let's begin. World 1, Stage 1. Oh, but yeah, let's get a little bit of that. So, as you can see, you control a spaceship. That's me flying right now, in real time. Okay. You have to scan the worlds before you can move on. Okay, hold on. I'm going to turn that down just slightly. Now, these things are trying to kill me. Luckily, you start out with a default weapon. items and attach it to your ship this increases maximum health so heck yeah we are putting that on there and also I apologize if this is a less than stellar video production very very kind of low budget but again, I just want to make something, so I hope you're okay with it. It's also kind of hard to play at this angle, but I'm going to try to make it work. So now that I've scanned the world and I've taken care of all the enemies, we can warp to the next place. I really like the Nintendo Switch. I have the original, but honestly, I never dock it. And when the Switch Lite was announced and came out, I was all about it. All about it. I absolutely love it. I like the smaller size. The lighter weight. I can pick this up bring it anywhere I want to, play anywhere, anytime. But yeah, mostly it's on my couch, but still, it's nice to have options. 
So anyway, I absolutely love sci-fi and space, space exploration. I don't like the more serious kind of sci-fi stuff like, you know, like um, Everspace is a game I wish I loved, but I suck at flying. So when I gave this a whirl, it was easy to pick up, and I'm just, I was instantly having fun. And so, I thought, hey, why not make a video? Okay, here we go. Alright, let's take some care of some baddies now. Hold on. I'm gonna do something. Oh god. No, no, no. Okay. Alright. Wow, this is um a little more tricky <laughs> to play like this than I was expecting. Doing okay, though, right? We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. There we go. There's more still. So obviously, if you're playing this normally and not hunched over and trying to get the angles right, it's fun to play. I mean, it's still fun right now, but it's a little more tricky. But I like, um, I like the pace so far. I mean, I've only played it for maybe an hour or a little more. But I can tell already that this will be one that kind of probably stays in my rotation I've I, I like flying games I always want to like them but I never am good at piloting so like having a game where I actually feel like I can do something um yeah it's kind of a the flying game I've been waiting for, really. Let's pick up this solar panel. Put it right there. Perfect. Okay. And yeah, there's the map on your bottom left. I'll show you where the bad guys are. And of course, this one is all the way up. Oh, you'll find loot like that. So then, with uh, ZR and ZL, you can have up to two weapons, and then you can change them. I like having my capsule on the right side. I don't know. It's because you start with it and that's the first way you use it. And the hammer I'll use with my left. So it's kind of interesting that, depending on the placement, you know, so the hammer can only be hit from this side. And 
this capsule can only shoot out that way. So you have to maneuver your ship accordingly. And let's warp out of here. All right. Stage three, we're making some good way. Okay. Right away, right? They're right on us, aren't they? Nothing we can't handle, though. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty nice having that hammer, actually, right there. Let's see where we're on. Oh, perfect. We can put it onto there. Yes. And that's what I like about this game. When these attachments, your ship can be kind of funky and different. And obviously, like with every ra roguelike, every game, you know, kind of eventually you'll have the same sort of setups. But. Yeah, every run has just been different for me. Every every ship layout has been different for me so far, and I enjoy that. Oh, not today. Mm -mm. Okay, let's hammer him down. Boom! A slingshot. It'd be like Dennis the Menace here. Mm, let's put it there. Oh, oh, wait, what? It shoots that way for some reason. Oh, let's scan this world right quick. Wow. Right there. Hmm. And you know what? We're gonna go with the hammer there. I like the hammer more. Oh, no. I don't think so. I'm also... Sorry if, uh, if I'm moving this all over. I'll try not to complain more about Oh, this isn't exactly the most comfortable position <laughs> to play. Which probably means that I'll like mention it two or three more times, unless I die on this run quicker than I want to. That'll work. Oh, here we go. Like I said, this was... Oh, I... Okay. It's easy to kind of pick up. I feel pretty confident about moving my ship already, but... I know that, uh... You know, with more time, I'll be able to... Kind of maneuver this better. At least I think I will. I could be completely wrong, but no. I think I'll... I think I will. Got some more bad guys to take care of. Let's hammer them out. Boom. <laughs> and I know, watching this, especially like this, like, it looks way better when I'm handheld um, and not a screen recording this. It looks really fun and I mean, it doesn't look too bad, at least from what I see, but it looks Pretty good handheld. Anyway, let's get this engine part on here. Oh, well, it's the only place we can put it, so bam. And now, you can see I can move a little bit, a little faster. Oh yeah, let's collect this stuff. This blue energy, whatever it is, something. All right. Making some good progress here. Okay. 
They were just waiting for us, weren't they? That's all right. We can deal with them. Hmm. Oh, yeah, but what I was saying, uh, you know, playing it, just like any game, if you've ever played a game, obviously you know that when you're the one controlling it, it's so satisfying to get in these hammer kills. Because you're, you know, you, you kind of have it as your secondary, and you, you know the timing of it, and so when you get that kill, it's pretty satisfying. And I like that you get two cargo uh, containers to put stuff at. So if you want to pick something up and potentially swap it. Eventually, or if you get lucky, you can find um, like more spaceship parts so that you can make your ship bigger. And then you can obviously add more attachments that way so eventually that would be um, really nice if that happens oh yeah stinker's kind of nice I'm gonna keep it in my car though let's scan this rock shall we can I put that on there? Oh, here we go. There we go. So I'm going to put that there for now. Still like learning how to do that. There we go. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. I love it. And then certain parts of you, I can, you can rotate them, obviously. And I'll put that there because why not? There, because why not? Should I put the stinker on there? Why not? Yes. Now we have a bigger ship. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so this iPhone capture is not going to do this justice. When I'm looking at this just on the Nintendo Switch screen, it's so smooth. It's so nice. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously I recommend this game. I wouldn't make this video if I wasn't enjoying this. So, If you like Rolex and you like spaceships, well, you should get this game. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's repair. So yeah, at the end of the level, you can go to the shop, as you just saw, and either repair or buy new attachments. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah. I, I love the aesthetic of this. I like these neon lights and the stars in the background there. A mining drone. Mines extra crystals and ammo from nearby asteroids. All right. Oh. that myself. Oh. oh, nice. Oh, yeah. You see my stinker? I leave a little gas for that guy to come into. <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't think so. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I know what we're going to do, I think. Back, yes. See, that is what I love.
love. I like so goofy and wacky in a fun little way. Yeah, I I like this customized being able to customize like that. What just hit me? Them? I couldn't really tell. Oh no no no. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay. They are getting a little bit a little bit trickier to, to defeat, aren't they? Oh, I'm an idiot. That's a trap. Okay. Let's go on the defensive a little. Others of action. No, wait, what? No. no. Well, killed by a bomber. There he is. There we go. Man, I was really digging that run. I liked my ship. So, there's something cool about that, though. You can save that to your hangar. And let's go back to the menu. Hey, that's me. Hello. And then, um, you can do this daily challenge, and I believe that's where the ship comes into play. Oh, yeah. I'm on airplane mode. Yeah, I think, um, that's the ship you can start out with. I believe I only played the daily challenge once, obviously, because, um, you know, it just came out yesterday. But then I'll show you one more thing. So you earn crystals. Yes, crystals. That's what they're called. The blue crystals. And then eventually you can unlock different color schemes. I like Sweden. Darkness is cool. So, the skins, I like. There are some cool options there for you. Now, the models, personally, I think classic looks the best. But if you really want to get funky with your stuff, they have um, different options. And it'll be interesting to follow this game. Maybe they'll release more. But for right now, I'm really digging this game. It's cool. You can view your ship like that. All right. Well, well, that's all for today, folks. <laughs> I just wanted to do this video for you and show you what is possibly my new favorite game but man there's so many cool games on the nintendo switch i'll probably make more videos like this in this style i know it doesn't look the greatest but uh, hopefully it does the job of relaxing you so thank you for joining me and I will catch you next time.